What is up, captains and cadets? In this video, we are gonna talk all about the airdrop you are gonna get for the crew members for all the ships that you own. Also, we are going to dive a little bit more into crew packs themselves. Let's get into it. Let's go. What up? What is up, muds? What's up, ponies? And what's up, boosters? Yes, you heard me correctly at the intro of this video. You are going to be airdropped crew members for each one of the ships that you guys own out there. Um, if you go into the Star Atlas Marketplace and go into item details, um, you will see how many crew members you are going to be allotted, depending on the ship that you own. It could be anywhere between one crew member and dozens, depending on the size of the ship. Um, but you are going to get an airdrop for those crew members very, very shortly. And we will talk about that a little bit further within this video but first let's talk about crew packs so a week ago a star atlas announced that they are going to be doing a pre-sale of crew packs and we went over this in a video that i made right here um, called star atlas solana crossroads event and you can see at the very bottom it says and crew packs there in the thumbnail um so if you guys haven't watched that you guys can watch that first this kind of this video piggybacks off of that video um so check that out first if you will um also, I want to do want to note that Metaverse Explorer made a really nice um, crew packs video right here. Um, so you can also check that out if you want a bunch of information on crew packs. But since that video I made, crew packs sold out and they sold out quick. So right here in the title, um, Star Atlas sells out all 5,000 pre-sale crew pack bundles in less than 24 hours after Solana Crossroads event. So they went very, very, very quick. Um, I just want to read this little paragraph right here. It says, speaking of in-game use cases for crew, their utility spans a wide range of features in the immediate term they can be deployed in sage star based to handle crafting jobs looking ahead they'll serve as your in-game avatar in unreal engine 5 level up and acquire gear through mobile companion app or simply rock the most epic pfps ever produced as the game evolves even more unique utilities for your loyal crew members will be introduced making them indispensable assets in your star atlas journey so that's kind of what i want to talk about in this video is like um how we're going to level them up what they're going to be you know what their utility will be like immediately now and you know in the ongoing future so um, we'll dive a little bit more into crew packs in this video um a lot of this is coming from what was said in the most recent atlas brew it's atlas brew number 111 and this was recorded by star atlas tv so you can go over to a star atlas tv and listen to the entire atlas brew but we'll go over some of the things they talked about and we're going to go over the medium article right here that was released and i, I kind of glanced at it a little bit in this video that I was talking about right here, and we'll just kind of go into a little bit of a deeper dive about it and talk about some of the things that the guys mentioned in the Atlas Brew. So the first thing actually I want to look at is the artwork right here. Um, there is kind of some Easter eggs, I feel like, in some of this uh, some of this artwork, and I didn't talk about it in that last video, um, but <clears throat> look at this right here. So we have this dude right here. He's a Sogmin. He's one of the Oni um, alien races, and next to him is a poo knob right there right um if we go back to this other medium article right here we can actually see that sogmi in almost a little bit better detail right there it is a pretty cool looking dude right there um and then we have a fatoli in the background and then we have actually joni as a crew card imagine like pulling joni in one of your crew packs uh like i mean she's a classic she's a classic right that would be awesome if they actually released that i wonder who would get actually get joni and hopefully they'd realize they have a really unique awesome uh, crew member right there um so check this one out this is a fatoli um, race right here this is going to be one of the anomaly cards so there's only going to be 50 anomaly cards total and they will be made out of i believe tufas and fatoli at least in this um uh, first release of crew packs coming out here very shortly um right here is another fatoli and th this is one of the really weird ones i actually have a picture of this i believe um somewhere but um he I don't know the body style of this one is less humanoid than the um than this other one that we saw just up here um so i thought that was really interesting um this is weird like what's this um uh, in the atlas brew they actually said that they will there will be more races being released eventually um right now we're going to focus on just a few that we'll talk about in a sec but what are these things like what are these little lips and what's that little what are these little things come out you know that little like punching bag that little speed bag diggly do on your net you know that's like in the back of your throat right here does this thing have three of them but they're spewing out and what is this thing am i looking at this thing wrong i have no clue what this what this is you know uh it's kind of like a stranger things looking creature right so i'm curious what that is uh we're going to talk about the two foot in just a sec and this guy what's up with that look he's got 
All right, you're freaking me out, brother. And then there's our Tufa again. Um, and then this little Puna right here. I don't know if it's a oh. like, boy or a girl, but look at this cute little Disney character looking with this awesome epic flight suit that it's wearing. Super cool. And I think that's the last one. But anyway, I want to go into Tufas just for a sec because they are one of my favorite, um, you know, uh, lore characters uh, throughout, uh, you know, the Galley Expanse, Star Alice. Um, Tufa, the scourge of the Cataclysm, as they are known by popular folklore. The Tufas are little more than a myth nowadays, as people of Gallia have mostly forgotten the Convergence War and the secrets of the rogue planet Iris. Nevertheless, it is said that some special members of the Rocky people with the ability to communicate, wander through the galaxy, hiding their identities and working in secret for unknown plots. True or not, the topic is passionately discussed in every bar of the medium zone, only attainable through anomaly crew tier drop. So what the heck does the rest of this Tufa look like? I'm so excited to see one of these Tufas and someone to pull one of these packs. All right. So to recreate the rest of this Tufa's body, what I had to first do is I had a I had to cut out the Tufa and then I copied his one arm onto the other side, right? And so now I have the two arms. Then I had to do the exact same thing with the leg, right? And I kind of had to tweak it a little bit. And then I wanted one of the arms kind of pointing up. So I had to like do a little bit there. And then I had to expand its legs. And then I added a chainsaw, right? And then this part right here. So, so the reason he has these boots is I typed in rock boots because, you know, Tufas are made out of rocks. And I thought I'd get some type of like rocky looking boot. Instead, I got like rock boots. And so now nah, that's why he has rock boots, right? So now he has rock boots and chainsaw. Then I extended his hand right here and I made it like, like a little pistol fist. And I was like, can I give him some type of like gun? Maybe I might take one of the guns. But instead, I decided to give him a cat with laser eyes because, you know, now he has a chainsaw on a cat with laser eyes. He's like super, super cool, you know what I'm saying? And so, but then I was like, well, there's not really cats in the game, so I, I might as well make the cat into like a Tigu, right? Because, you know, Tigus are pets in Star Atlas. So now he has a Tigu with like laser beams and stuff like that, with like the gas, the gas coming off the Tigu, because Tigus are like half made out of gas, and extending the laser beam, pew, 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 and he's still got that chainsaw, bing, 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 It's looking pretty darn sweet, right? Woo! So anyway, this is how I envision the rest of that Tufa's body is going to look. It's just all going to be like, Tufa! Tufa attack! <laughs> Alright, next I want to talk actually about the um, the numbers of the crew members that you're going to get with each one of these future crew packs. Um, one thing I kind of messed up on when I bought, I actually bought a crew pack live last time and I said, oh, it's $90 and for the platinum packs in the future, they're going to be 50 So I thought I was actually paying more, but what I was getting is a 10 crew member pack. In the future, these $50 ones are going to be five crew member packs. So actually I was getting a $10 discount by buying one of those crew member packs. And I don't know how many people probably bought a whole bunch of these crew packs thinking that they could use um, someone's star path link or their own star path link or however that would work and they would get some type of discount. But apparently the crew shut off star path link discounts for these crew member packs. So you actually had to pay full price no matter who you were out there. So, um, so I mean, it was awesome that uh, that this many people um, supported Star Alice and $450,000 worth of crew member packs were actually sold within 24 hours. So that's going to help out the Automata team that is creating Star Atlas um, fund the project a lot further into the future. All right, next, I want to talk about aptitudes. Each one of your crew will actually be able to excel in one of seven different aptitudes, command, flight, engineering, medical, scientist, operator, or hospitality. Um, if we actually go down to the graphic, it might make it easier. Um, you can see if you pull a common, you will have one major aptitude that you can um, concentrate on. Most of the time, that's all you're going to need because you're only going to be able to control one person at a time. So maybe you actually want to make each one of your crew members, depending on your ship, um, focus on one certain task. Um, where you might need more than one task is maybe the guy that you're actually going to um, you know, use as your main character, where you're actually going to you know, control this person and do this and do that, you know? And um, I would assume that most people would want flight to be one of their um, their major aptitudes for the character that you're going to control, but who knows, depending on your gameplay style, right? Um, so we have common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, anomaly. Like I said, common, you'll get one major aptitude. Uncommon, you'll get a major and a minor aptitude. Rare, you'll get one major and two minor aptitudes. Epic, you'll get two major aptitudes and one minor. Legendary, you'll get three major aptitudes. And anomaly, you'll get a minor in all aptitudes, or two major aptitudes plus one anomalous aptitude, which is pretty cool, right? But this right here was interesting because I, I never really thought about um, this aspect, and they talked about this on the Atlas Brew, but if you pull a rare card, not only are you going to get one major aptitude and two minor aptitudes, but you're going to get a 25% XP gain on that minor aptitude. Um, so as you're uh, leveling up your character, you're going to be able to level up your character in multiple different um, ways. Um, one of the um, uh, ways you could do it is when the companion app is 
released, we're going to be able to exercise and we're going to be able to level up our character, right? Um, you'll get a 25% XP gain on your minor aptitude if you pull a rare card. Um, you'll get a 50% XP gain on your major aptitude if you pull an epic card. And you'll get a 100% XP gain on an anomalous aptitude for a legendary card, which is pretty crazy, right? So then the, the guys were kind of basically just uh, doing a game theory on which one might be uh, the most underrated of all the uh, the aptitudes right here. Um, a command would be very obvious if you have a very large vessel that you are flying because you're going to have an admiral, commander, or a captain role within that, um, that large ship. Um, a f uh, flight one is the one that I said was a given. Most people are going to want a nice pilot's license, you know. Um, level that uh, that that flight aptitude up so you can fly your ship the best in dogfighting um, situations and stuff like that. Now, engineering, uh, they were saying that this might be an underrated one. You might want to have a whole bunch of crew members in engineering. But um, I was actually thinking operator is going to be, I mean, might not be underrated, but this is one that most people are going to want to focus on because it's weapons operator, drone operator, rig operator. Um, so I don't know. I thought that that one might be a very, very important one. Um, Dominic from the Atlas Brew was saying that you'll definitely want a medical um, member on your team. I think it was Dom that said that. Um, th this is basically, you know, someone that can maybe heal within the ship itself. Hospitality. Um, I would think that that would depend on what type of ship you have. You know, if you have one of the the ships that I don't. I mean, I would assume that obviously this would be very important if you have a Titan ship. But also um, the Opal Bitboat, for instance, would you know want to have some of these hospitality roles for some of their crew members. And the science role, um, I, this could be one that could be important as, as the game de develops a little bit further, as we discover stuff in different planets and stuff like that. We might actually have to, uh, um, I don't know, uh, mix certain things to actually uh, craft certain elements, right, for the science officers. Um, so, um, yeah, let me know which one that you're going to be focusing a bunch of your crew members on. And it's interesting because I wonder if we, you know, if we take our crew members and we level them up in a whole bunch of different roles, um, you get to the top tier of, um, you know, level your, your crew member up as, as high up as you possibly can and then sell that one on the marketplace. Um, some people might not be interested in leveling up their characters. They might just want to buy a fully leveled up uh, character, right? I think that's how it's going to work. I, I do believe. Now, as far as the rarity of the crew members go, speaking of crew members and reselling them, um, they did, the uh, guys from the Atlas Brew did say that the artwork itself will show the different levels um, of the character. So you should be able to tell um, between a common crew member and an epic crew member just by the, probably the clothes that they're wearing, just like the, the I don't know, the level of bling that the characters come with, um, for lack of a better word. Um, also that they are all going to have a, the, you know, a very unique very very unique backstory which is th th that's cool but what was even cooler was josea was saying that these backstories are going to change as you play with the character over time so as your character goes on different adventures and comes into um different things that it has to deal with and and you put it in different gameplay styles and stuff like that it, your character is actually going to have a written backstory that will actually change over time how this is absolutely possible with this many crew members that are actually going to be released on the market is beyond me i i, I think it's magic but uh, i think that's such a cool aspect in my opinion now when you open up your crew members let's just say that you are on the oni race and you're keeping your fingers crossed that you are going to get an oni character well i guess there's going to be some type of little toggle switch or um, a button that you can actually click to actually choose your faction so you get a better chance of opening one of those packs um for you know for that faction so if you're hoping to get the you know, an Oni member, like one of the Poo Knobs or something like that, and you toggle that on, um, maybe, maybe you'll have a slightly better chance of getting one of those characters. Um, no promises or guarantees is, I believe, how it's going to work from what they were saying. Now, I'm right here on the marketplace right now, and you um, actually can see that they are selling um, some of these crew packs right now, and they're going for, it looks like, um, $100 at the moment, which is pretty much a fair price. So if you want to buy, you know, your looking to buy one of these crew packs you don't want to wait for the next drop of the crew packs which should be in q2 which is going to end as of making this video it should end in about a month and a half so we should actually have more um crew members that we can buy from the automata team within a month and a half um but um if you do want to go ahead and buy from one of the probably bots out there um i wouldn't pay more than hundred dollars because two crew packs at, um, at fifty dollars would be a hundred dollars and you'll be able to buy um these um, the platinum packs for that price. So if so they're looking to um, sell them for like up here for $113, you might be ripping yourself off a little bit, um, but it's up to you. You know, maybe you might be nervous that when they are released, you know, you won't get your hands on them. But I would, I would personally just, you know, hold back and wait because right now we can't use the crew members for anything. 
but when they are released when the actual full because this was just a pre-sale when the actual real release of the crew packs are put on the market we're going to be able to utilize those crew members in starbased and that is the only thing we're going to be able to use those crew members for at first so you might as well wait for that day and then you can actually utilize your crew members when you buy them on the um on the release date right um now i don't know about those mathematicians out there um this is one of the interesting things um if you buy one platinum pack it's 50 dollars, but you can get two silver packs of four 25 dollars. so you'll have like double the chance um of of you know as far as the ratios go of getting um one of these members but you'll still i believe have a better chance um if you want to get you know pull an anomaly or a legendary obviously if you just four times two would be 0. 0.000 uh you know eight so you know you have a 0. 0.004 50 percent for an anomaly um over here at the platinum pack as opposed to two of those silver packs but you know i'm sure some people are going to be doing some math and and trying to figure out ah maybe you know i only mostly need common members anyway maybe it's worth buying a whole bunch of these and i'll take my chances with you know um tripling or quadrupling quadrupling my percentages depending on how many packs you're going to actually buy um one more aspect um that was brought up on the atlas brew that i really appreciated was dominic vane had said uh, he can't wait to actually play with his squad and i was thinking about that a little bit more um as we're like leveling up you know we, we look through all the artwork of all our different characters especially if you have a whole bunch of ships and stuff and you actually get ones that are like really eye-catching that you you know you seem to like i don't know you, you love the artwork you love the backstory everything like that and you just spend all this time leveling them up as high as you possibly can you start to bond with those characters right and uh you know dominic was saying he can't wait to get his like his unique squad you know the squad that he knows he's always going to play with and stuff like that together and feel like it's like i don't know it'll feel like it's like family you know as, as you're playing the game because you possibly might put a lot of hours into this game um especially your main character that's going to be your pfp that you're going to be using throughout the game i, I can imagine a lot of people are going to get really bonded to those characters and you know there's been talk that maybe your characters might grow old and die and stuff like that i hope not if, if they do hopefully that you can you know that breeding aspect that they talked about that like they can have offspring and you can actually play with your character's kid that might maybe look like your character or something who knows where it's going to go but um I, I did think that the bonding idea of like how you know how attached you can get to some of these characters um in the future i thought that was like a, v a very unique thought of uh game theory you know all right now let's get into the airdrop the ship airdrop now it was always called an airdrop for a very long time and then the team started to talk about a conversion where you would take your ship and you would turn it into some type of app or some type of website you would turn your ship in and in return you would get crew members and you were going to get components and a hull of your ship um, now that has been put aside at the moment who knows about the future if that'll actually still work for the ship like you might still have to turn your ship in itself it won't come with a crew member anymore but maybe you turn your ship in and in return you'll get back a whole bunch of components in the hull of the ship and you can rebuild your ship um, i'm not too sure about that they haven't quite talked about that but as far as crew members this will not be the case we are going to get a airdrop for the crew members and there will be a snapshot so how is it going to work i took notes so i'm pretty much going to read my notes so i don't screw anything up it says the rarity of your ship you have will be what type of crew pack you have and we can go back to this article real fast right here um, and talk about that all right right here if you have a common and uncommon ship you will be given silver singular crew packs so every single crew member if you have two dozen crew members in that ship you will be given two dozen crew member packs that you're going to have to open okay so they're going to be single member like one person crew member packs for every single crew member you have on the ship rare and epic ships are going to have gold singular crew packs legendary and anomaly ships are going to have platinum singular crew packs just because you have a legendary ship does not guarantee that you're going to get a legendary crew member it's actually going to be really difficult to get a legendary crew member so you actually could end up pulling a whole bunch of packs and not get a single legendary crew member for your legendary ship because you only are just basically given the ratio of that, those platinum packs themselves and that has to go back to this graphic right here so you can actually um, pull a whole bunch for your legendary ship pull a whole bunch of members and they could all end up being rare and epic and you don't get a single legendary one even though there's a 0.9 percent chance um it's just the luck of the draw right now when will this happen this will happen on the day that the crew packs are going live this is when the snapshot of all your ships are going to be there will be a snapshot of your total fleet every single ship that you own is going to you know be snapshot by the actual dev team and those crew packs are going to be airdropped to you 
Um, this date will be announced in advance. So if you guys are are worried about, um, you know, you're trying to save up for certain ships, um, there will be an advance um, given of this date. So you can try to purchase the, you know, last minute ships that you want. So you get all the crew members um, for those ships um, once, once the airdrop is made. Now the airdrop is going to be a gumdrop airdrop. So in your inventory, there is now a crew slot right here. Um, and so you'll find a whole bunch of crew packs that you're going to actually have to um, collect. And so once, once the airdrop's made, you're going to have to actually click on those. You're going to have to pay a Solana fee. And then you'll, be, um, you'll have a crew pack like something like this um, in your inventory instead of those the little gumdrop um, tokens. Now you will have to pay a rent fee. It's um, an aspect of Solana itself. You're going to have to pay a rent fee in order to um, collect the gumdrop tokens um, to basically convert them into the crew packs themselves. But those rent fees are given back as soon as it's converted into a, um, a crew pack. Um, so you won't have to worry about that fee. And um, Brett, who's one of the Star Atlas Automata team blockchain engineers, said that you will be able to open up your total crew pack. So if you're like a whale out there that has just a ton of um, crew members that you have to, you know, you have to open up a ton. You're going to get a whole bunch of crew packs. Um, you will be able to actually designate how many crew packs you want to open at the same time. So say you have, a, you know, 700 of these crew members, you can say, hey, I want to open a, a 100 at a time and, and see what crew members you have. So you can save yourself on some Solana fees in that way. Also, Star Atlas is going to pay for the minting fee. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to play um, Brett's words just, you know, I just glanced over him. I'm going to play what he said just so you guys can hear it for yourself. Brett, welcome, sir. Hello. Welcome to the stage, Brett. What now, was that answer, last question? answer thy questions. <laughs> uh, okay, the question, the question that we were getting that I think is actually a good question is, so let's say someone gets has a bunch of ships and gets 171 single crew packs. Do they have to claim all those one by one and pay like individual Solana fees or... How would that work? No. So when you open, you can pick how many packs you want to open, and you just pay the fee once. So you'll like, say you're opening 100 packs. You can say, "I want to open 100 packs now." You'll get the animation for 100 packs opening, and then in the background, we'll be minting those in our ourselves for you. So we're prepaying all the rent, paying for those fees, but you still pay the fee of, "Hey, we got to open. I'm opening this many packs. Going to transfer the packs over, burn them, all that." Okay, so I I love that answer. But what about the like the specifically about the airdrop? Because I'm 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 guessing that Airdrop's it's going to be a gum drop. Uh, so yeah, you'll have to claim it. You you claim it. Um, you'll pay the rent for the token account. It's just SFTs for the, um, for all the packs and everything. And then, so you'll pay that rent. But when you open all of them, you'll get the rent back because you you no longer have to store those tokens. Okay, I think that makes sense. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate you. Awesome. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I am excited. I love like the little animation um, things you get when it, it, I don't know, it, it makes the it makes things a little more immersive. So I, I'm glad there's going to be a little bit of an animation as you rip open the packs. Um, my son, uh, Mini Horizon there, he was actually doing that. Um, he was scanning. Um, he got this little every um, little card that came with all his Pokemon packs and we were putting it into a Pokemon app. And we actually got to uh, visually tear open, a, you know, a pack of Pokemon cards in the app itself and then we digitally got to see some cards come to life in front of us so i'm excited uh, that there's going to be something like that um within um these star atlas crew members that we're going to you know these crew packs that we're going to open up now um as far as resale um they said that there's going to be have to be some type of reworking in the marketplace um for this resale or and or maybe they'll use some type of external advice um, um external um, app or some type of partnership in order to resell all these crew members because there's going to be a whole bunch to resell on the marketplace so we'll see how that all works in the future so anyway i hope this was all a big help to you guys um, we got to learn a little bit about more about crew packs please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button i already recorded a, a recap video that should be out next i just wanted to put this video out first so make sure you're subscribed so you get some type of notification that my video is out Again, please hit that like button because I love you guys all and it helps me out so much. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later. What up?